Welcome to our next lesson on Formatter by Zapier. With Formatter spreadsheet style formulas, you can compare dates. It can even do simple arithmetic like 1 plus 2 divided by 4, or give you 2 to the 4th power. We have even more examples of the spreadsheet style formulas that Formatter can perform in our help docs, so check those out in the resources below. Let's check out some basic arithmetic in the spreadsheet style formulas first. One of the smartest parts of Formatter is that it can actually understand concatenation or a chain of math problems. Like in my example from earlier, if I put one and two in parentheses, then divide by four, Formatter will first do the addition and then the division. Simple order of operations. Now let's extrapolate on that premise. I wanna send myself a Slack notification that lets me know how many days I have to work on my new projects in Trello. To do that, I need to convert my Trello card's due date and today's date to the Unix timestamp and then create a formula to do some math to generate how many days before the due date. We use the Unix timestamp since each date is returned in seconds since January 1st, 1970. I've already set up my trigger app, Trello, so let's jump into my first of three formatter steps. I'm selecting date time and then format, selecting the Trello due date as my input value and then selecting X, which stands for Unix, under the two format. I'll test the step to make sure it converted, and we're right on to the next formatter step. This one will be a lot like the last, except instead of using the Trello due date, I'm writing in today. Let's test it, and we're good. Now for our formula. In our third formatter step, select numbers, and then spreadsheet style formulas. For the formula itself, we want to subtract today's date from the due date. But if I left it at that, the result would be in seconds, and that's not exactly helpful. We need to convert the Unix timestamp into days, which means we need to divide the result by the number of seconds in a day, 86,400. I'll put the first part of the equation, the subtraction, in parentheses. Then I'll divide by 86,400. And here's the result. I just have to add a slack DM action step, and I'll know how many days I have before a new project is due. These spreadsheet style formulas can also handle text-based entries. Let's say your trigger app provides you a customer's name and you want to search your CMS to see if they're already in there. But sometimes that search can be a little fuzzy and returns customers that don't match my search query. With a formatter step and a filter step, you can build a Zap that ensures you find the lead you're looking for every time. Our Zap will take type form responses, find the lead in Pipedrive, and then add an activity. We have the trigger. Now we want to conduct a search in Pipedrive using the lead's name from the type form. In this case, it looks like it matches straight away, which is great, but we're going to keep going just to be safe. Next, we'll add a formatter step, selecting numbers and spreadsheet style formulas. Since we want to make sure the name Pipedrive finds matches the name from our type form, our formula will compare these two values. We'll write it like this with the outputs from each step. Next up is the filter step. If the output from our formatter step is same, we want to continue. Otherwise, stop the zap in its tracks. Finally, add your last action step and this zap is ready to go. The spreadsheet style formulas can also perform different kinds of functions. If you want to generate a random number between two integers, just plug in rand between integer integer and formatter will produce a random number. If you want a big unique number, put another identical formatter step after that one with the same rand between but with different integers. Then combine the outputs from both in your action step and in a flash you have randomly generated numbers. For a full list of functions, check out the help docs included below. The list is extensive, almost as extensive as everything formatter can do. Check back for more formatter workflows and abilities in our next lesson.